Hello everybody, it's uh, the film Optimist. Today I'm talking about Up. Um, what an amazing film. Carl Fredrickson met his wife at a young age. It was their dream to travel to South America just like their favorite explorer, Charles Muntz. Unfortunately, tragedy strikes, so Carl has to go it alone. Or does he? He ties a ridiculous amount of balloons to his house so he can fly and fulfill his and his late wife's dreams um, to uh, Paradise Falls, adventures out there. <clears throat> then Russell joins up with him because he needs to get a wilderness badge or something, and also Doug, a talking dog. Seriously, this movie is so damn good. Please watch it. Thanks go to Alex on Omegle for requesting this film. Did I even talk about Omegle yet? R.I.P. Omegle. Um, this is a poorly written review. Kind of just go all over the place. I didn't uh, mention that um, Russell is a wilderness explorer. <clears throat> is that what he is? <laughs> is a wilderness explorer? Pix list of list of Pixar films. I didn't pull that one up beforehand because of course I didn't. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the tenth Pixar film. Coming out May 29, 2009. In between Wally and Toy Story 3. Man, that's a amazing three films in a row right there. Originally titled Heliums. Wow, that's crazy. Let's go to Russell. He is a young wilderness explorer scout attempting to earn his final merit badge for assisting the elderly. He becomes an accidental stowaway. Before Carl can land and send Russell home, a storm propels the house to South America. They find themselves there. Um, Russell has now joined him on his journey. <clears throat> on a budget of $175 million, it made $735.1 million. That's crazy. Um... There's so much that can be said for this film. I mean, it's a beautiful film. And if you if it's your favorite, awesome. You know, I will say this. It's a it's kind of a hot take. People say this movie is the best Pixar movie because of how beautifully tragic and sad it was. They are only taking into account what the first 15 minutes of the film five it's not 5 minutes, like 10, 15 minutes. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen this for whatever reason, um, click off of this if you haven't seen this film. At the beginning, there's there's Carl and Ellie. They're little kids. They really like each other. They really Ellie's the more outgoing one. Carl's the more reserved, shy little boy, little chubby boy with glasses. Um, and he she really brings out the fun, adventurous side of him. And... Um, they're they're showing they're, they're, they want to go to Paradise Falls since they were kids. Adventures out there, and they're really excited. Um, and you see over the years that oh wow they 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 love each other. They get married. Um, they they work at the zoo. Um, Carl selling balloons and Ellie working with like the animals, I think. And then. It show it just shows their life in this beautiful music and this really nice montage and they're laying down and they look up at the clouds and they're talking about what they see in the clouds as young adults and then she's like I see babies I see a baby and then she's like I see many babies there's a bunch of babies that's that's all she's seeing so he's like oh shit yeah we're gonna go ahead and he gets really excited we're gonna have a kid and it fucking smash cuts to her in the fucking doctor's office. I'm getting emotional right now. Her fucking face in her hands. Just fucking... It's like, holy shit, Pixar. It's like, oh my god, that's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. Um, see, it has this effect on everybody. So people uh, automatically are like, nothing can outmatch this film. Well, Best opening hands down of any Pixar movie, I would say. But you can't, you can't say the entire film is, because after that, I mean, let's, let's be honest, we'll, we'll get to that. But, so, so that happens, gut-wrenching. 
but you know she's really sad and she's like sitting there and she's like hair in the wind and breathing trying to be peaceful and he's like I he's trying to cheer her up and he's like paradise falls they also bought the they buy the house at the beginning of the movie that they both went into as kids like it's an abandoned house and they fix it up and everything well they decide yeah we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to paradise falls we're gonna save up our money we're gonna go scouts on her they go in and um things keep happening uh there's a storm that knocks a hole in the roof um it's raining so they have to patch that up they have to break it to the rainy day the rainy day fund the paradise falls fund they um he breaks his arm they need to fix that there's a bunch of stuff that happens that they they just can't get to paradise falls before you know it they're both old they love each other very much had a very nice life but something dawns on carl when he's looking through things he goes oh my god paradise falls now they're old they're much older you know they're ain't they're they're, they're senior citizens and uh at this point now i think like their retirement age and they have enough money so he buys two tickets he's going to surprise her they go up on the hill that they've had p picnics all over the years and she collapses and um she's in, fucking on her deathbed and she dies he all floats a letter to her with a balloon like she does at the beginning of the film when she's a child we get all emotional talking about this shit and it's so um uh it's such a gut punch it's such a gut punch um god pixar is so is so devious and so carl um fredrickson uh he is now lives in the home that he and his wife fixed up and everything around him is being demolished and he refuses flat out refuses to give up his home and he knows as long as he says no they can't get that house and they're trying their best to you know bulldoze it wherever they can he's like you're not taking my house from me they accidentally knock over the the mailbox that you know in the in the montage it shows them fixing it up and he's he's relaxing on there like this and his hands on there and but it has paint on it so he accidentally leaves a handprint he's like oh no wait i fucked up and she's like oh, cool yeah see you know we both of our handprints are on it hits the fucking mailbox he flips out he accidentally hits one of the people and then oh we now have cause for this guy to go to a fucking retirement be forced into a retirement home that we've been trying to get him to go to senior senior living but he has he's been planning the, the balloons come out um and then russell um obviously stows away this is where the film to me gets kind of um i'm not gonna say it's all the way like mid right i'm not gonna say that because that's kind of fucked up but it is a weird turn where charles Muntz, who was already an adult that these two people idolized is somehow still alive somehow is still alive as an as an old man himself like carl is old carl is old as fuck so old that he is a fucking walking cane he is old how the fuck old is charles Muntz? we can assume charles is like 20 maybe but he's still like a little kid so if he's 20 years older than him i guess if if carl was like 60 that he'd be 80 it's still weird and charles Muntz has a bunch of dogs that he's trained and he's attached collars that allows them to speak like to translate their dog speech to human speech many, many different languages um english and um there's other ones in there i'm sure espanol um korean japanese all that stuff uh french they they uh, russian that's another one german they deutsch 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 
they they go ahead and they um it's just weird right it's just really weird they do have some more gut punches in there for you like um russell's russell's talking about a woman he's like you call your mother by her first name or whatever it's like someone told not my mom and it's just like oh that's awkward like oh shit um and you really feel for russell and then you feel like there's more emotion spoiler at the end of the film russell's getting his final badge um for assisting the elderly and he's there and he's really excited but no one's there for him to celebrate until uh mr frederick who comes in and is there and he's beaming with pride and then afterwards he's like I want to give you something. This is the Ellie badge. And he gives him a little bottle cap from um, him and uh, Ellie's childhood that he's held near and dear. F fuck. It's so beautiful. I need to watch Doug. What is it? D uh, Doug Day Out? Doug Days? Or whatever it's called for Disney+. Plus. There's a lot of uh, continuing. Con con there's a continuation of uh, of love for that one. Um, what is that? Doug Days. Um, yeah, there's Doug Days. Fuck, where is it at? The voice cast, Ed Asner. Um, was Carl Fredrickson. Um, rest in peace to Ed Asner. Jordan, the, Jordan the guy was Russell. I hope I said his name right. Christopher Plummer, Charles Monks. He is also passed on. R.I.P. Christopher Plummer. Bob Peterson is Doug. He's also the director. Um, yeah, so we go down here to the, the future right here. Doug Days. And then there's a short film that I really want to watch. It's, it serves as the sixth and final episode of Doug Days. It's called Carl's Date. It's a short film. Carl Fredrickson is reluctantly... Uh, go on, goes on his first date since his late wife Ellie's death, but has no idea how dating works. And I remember seeing this, and a lot of people were like, "That's this is so disrespectful to Ellie." No, it's beautiful. That I haven't even seen it yet. Still, I haven't seen any Doug Days, and I haven't seen this. But it's beautiful that he could move on, and it's what Ellie would have wanted. Ellie would have wanted him to go on another adventure. Um, God, I'm getting emotional again. And this is Ed Asner's final, um, one of his final roles before his death in 2021. Um, he was able to um, film it. Because it's like the finale of Doug Days. God, that's great. I was, I'm just going to end now. I'm going to end the video before I start like, just crying and sobbing everywhere. Um, you guys have a you guys have a good one. Take care.